Hello and welcome to another beautiful episode of 2024 and today we are in Karen where we are having a look at this five bedroom house in the market for 99 million Kenya shilling. The house is 600 square meters and starts on about a half acre lot. Let's go inside and have a look. Follow me. We begin the tour on the front side of the house and you have the driveway bringing you with this entryway to your parking area and from here we can talk about maybe how many cars we can park here wheels i think uh, four four yeah you, and we have a carport there yes where you can comfortably do two cars yeah? yeah you can it's an open living estate of about 30 houses mm -hmm. so not so big and again i like this extended uh uh, concrete yeah. blocks, yeah? yeah, that sort of beautify, they add to the beauty and the facade of the house. Yeah? yeah, actually, you can even place like a glass on top of it so that when it rains, oh, yeah, you, so you can just yeah. come and park here and go inside the yes, house. Yeah, exactly. So, there's a door there that connects from your uh, carport area to the kitchen, and yeah. you're going to see that later on. Yeah. Then, you have this front door, so you just take these steps and uh. I like the cladding of the house, my goodness. You're also going to see that this on the other side of the house. Yeah. And uh, you're welcome to this entry foyer, but this massive door is very, very nice. Yeah? Yeah. Remember the other door that we saw at um, the pent the apartment we toured? Oh yes. So it has given yeah, me almost that the same size. Yes, yeah? yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> and it's very massive. And again, on this behind here, we have a window ensuring that this entry for you gets a lot of natural light. And you have a nice table console here where you can place your keys, your glasses, and so on. I also like the staging of this house, yeah? Even the mirrors, they're really beautiful. And you're welcomed by these laminated floors. And on this side, there is a powder room and a perfect one because the vanity area and the water closet is separate, yeah? So you can have someone using this area and another person is in this area separately. Yeah. This is That's always one of your favorite Exactly. Things, so yes, we'll be relying on natural light when we're filming this house, so you can actually get to appreciate it with natural light. Huh? Yeah. And from here, you are coming to this sort of a bridge area where you have the living on this the living space on this side and the dining area on this side. Let's and start with Before the, you even move, I want yes. to bring your attention to this picture window. <laughs> to the picture window yeah. <laughs> that I almost forgot to talk about. Yes. Thank you for bringing it up. Yeah. yeah. And again, before you even go to the uh, picture window, we appreciate these uh, flower pots yeah. that sort of spice up and liven up the spaces. Yeah? yeah, everybody likes to see these green spaces yes. near their homes yes. or one with their homes. And now with the picture window, we get to appreciate how they extend to your outdoors. Yeah? Yes. And that is one very beautiful place. We have a tree that goes all the way to your upper floor and yep. you're going to see that later on. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes, and now we can proceed to this sunken living lounge. And one of the things I like about this space is the fireplace. Remember we're in Karen and sometimes it gets cold. So having this uh, uh, fireplaces is an added advantage. Yeah. 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 And I remember the house we toured a while back, yeah? mm -hmm. there was a socket somewhere funny and people kept wondering what was yeah. that socket. So I like yeah. it. Just... Actually, people say that that fireplace was an afterthought. Yeah. Because uh, of that. Yeah. Because socket. Yeah. Or and, the socket it, was an afterthought. Uh, yeah. Whichever came first. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it wasn't quite Adding that up. well yeah, yeah. fixed, you know. But this, but this one, one looks... is well fixed, yes. raised. You yes. can yeah. definitely clean it up. I really uh, appreciate easy. how raised it is. Huh? Yes. And even the workmanship here yeah. looks very nice. Yeah. Huh? That means even if the wood is burning, yeah. definitely the heat gets you, hits you well. Across, in this yeah, it spreads all over the house. Yes. Huh? So on this other side, you can see how you have uh, your living space extends. Then you have these windows that open to your driveway. Mm -hmm. And from here, you can appreciate your neighbor's houses. This is one thing I appreciate about community living yeah. because your neighbor's houses also look cool. So yeah. you always feel like you're in a cool place. You're in a cool place, yes. exactly. And yeah. you get to see your neighbors. And yeah. this kind of estate is not for people who aren't to that standard, you know? Exactly. Yeah, so it, you can definitely see your, your neighbor and they could be the next deal you're sealing. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. So from the living space, we extend to another living space, but in this case, outdoor living space. And I appreciate how well it is covered, which means it can be easily used 
even when it's raining yeah yep. so you don't have to move you know and people are chilling outdoors and then it starts raining and you're like hey it's okay it's okay yes and even yeah. you have to move your your seats yeah, your cushions yeah, yeah. Yeah. you know so that they don't get wet yeah so in this case you get to enjoy it then you have your garden here which again livens up the place spices it up and you know we in Karen and it's so greenery so mm -hmm. you don't even need this but they just put yeah. it there just to you know spice it up yeah? yeah this is quite interesting because i don't think we'd even be able to get drone shots for this house because of all these all the trees, trees that yeah. are surrounding it's so this hard house. yeah it's yeah. very hard because there are trees on this side and trees on the other side yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, something else that i had not mentioned is that you have another fireplace here because what's better than one two of course two of course <laughs> so this means even at night you can chill here comfortably yep. and enjoy you know have beautiful conversations or just chill in silence listening to the sound of birds mm -hmm. and enjoy the fire space i like yeah. how there's so much serenity in this place yeah. yet there's 30 houses within this premises man, say you don't actually feel like it's a 30 house estate yeah you know what i'm thinking man uh -huh. you know valentine's is just around the corner <laughs> ah, with this fire space it would have been amazing yeah. <laughs> so follow me to this other side willis yeah so this is where we did our intro and again you take these steps that lead you to what i would say is an outdoor dining area and again it's partly covered so in case you want some sunshine you can put your table set up here mm -hmm. but in case you want you know just some shade yeah? you can just come over here have your dining setup as they have staged it here and enjoy some good moments yeah, yeah. and one thing i've just noticed uh, you notice the wood laminated floors inside and the tiles outside are almost the same tone yeah the yeah. Uh, like the so color theme yeah it's almost a seamless same, flow. yeah in fact if there was not this uh scutting, scutting yeah. you wouldn't tell that this Definitely. is tiles and this is yeah. wood yeah yeah you it's not even in your mind exactly yeah yeah. and then you have these stack up doors actually in this house instead of just using sliding doors they went with stack up doors yeah, yeah. that uh, open to your live, uh, dining area and uh, again it's massive you have a picture window behind wheelies which is very beautiful to see and wow look at all this space there's so much you can even have a serving table here if you yeah, wanted of course yeah, yeah and even this this dinner set is too small for it's, this space it's so small you yeah can you can a, even fit a 12, 12 table seat, uh, yeah. yeah yeah this is nice this is a perfect house for hosting because yeah. now that you have uh, talking about the outdoors mm -hmm. you can imagine if you have to do some warm lighting at oh night. yes, there at the, yeah. at that dinner yeah. place. Yeah. yeah, so you'd have oh. nice listening sessions. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Since we have just uh, since this yeah. channel is all about creatives. Yeah? Yes, and yeah. we decided you are yeah. bringing the yeah. Grammys yeah. on. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and, and after I realized that some some of the dopest artists in this country watch this channel, yeah. So I'm just imagining, I'm just imagining them doing listening parties. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Would be dope. Yeah, They'll definitely. Be amazing, yeah? definitely. <laughs> They'll be in good company. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, this other side you have the kitchen space and uh, follow me so that you can have a look the kitchen is big unfortunately we don't have uh, lighting at yeah. the moment so you just use a natural lighting and where do I even start with this kitchen there are people who complain about some of the houses we show in terms of the kitchen being small mm -hmm. I believe they can comfortably say that this kitchen is big oh this is definitely a dining hall <laughs> and it is yeah. right yeah. so here you can do your double door fridge yeah. and even an, a, a, next, a freezer by yeah. itself if yeah. you want then you have this massive island which mm. i believe would be the centerpiece of this kitchen of course. and therefore a nice worktop nice place to have you know bar set up seats yeah. and uh, just have awesome conversations yeah. you know, i just really wish that it was more functional maybe have a ah, a sink yeah a sink or yeah. even just a cooktop there yeah yeah it would definitely make more sense to have that, that, such massive fixture to that would be amazing yeah i believe uh, it's something that actually maybe if someone was to buy this house mm -hmm. that they should consider doing yeah? yeah 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 on this side we have a massive window opening to your what you can call like a common area for laundry and so on mm -hmm. and you're going to see it later you have your double sink you have a water purifying system that's why you have this which yeah. means you can drink the water straight, straight off that tap on this side you have a massive pantry space mm -hmm. and uh, again it's well lit even the pantry space is lit huh? yeah and on this other side we have the laundry space look at that you can see the sink set up there and uh, if you want to add drawers and so on, counters, mm -hmm. you can do that for yourself. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. And coming to this side, we have this 
door that opens to your gar uh, garage. Yeah. So I, I mentioned it earlier on as we're starting the show. Mm -hmm. So that's how you access your car. And uh, I mentioned that this area is covered, so you can do some. You can even hang out here if you want. Yes. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. And you, you can have, even, you know, you can even set up a, a space where people can have meals here. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Where, yeah. I'd actually make it another dining area. Yeah. Or exactly. if I have, I'm hosting and there's too much activity. Yeah. This can also be used to to do some of the catering. Oh yes. Of yes. Course. Yes. Yeah. Huh? And on this side, we have a one bedroom staff quarters because your staff should also live, you know, good. Yeah. You yeah. should live like you. So you even have a sitting setup. A very nice uh, desk, uh, space workspace here. Mm -hmm. You have your bathroom set up on this side, and on this other side is where we have the bed space. I don't think I have seen a better done staff quarters than this one on the show. Yeah, it's actually think, one of the yeah, things you commended yeah. when you started. Yeah, yeah these yeah. are one of the things. Yeah, yeah. there's the one we saw in Loresho, a uh -huh. while back. Yeah, mm -hmm. the the nanny room. Remember? Oh yes, the it was really room. nice. It, it was, was nice. Very, yeah. It was very nice. Yeah, but it's hard to find something like this that is yeah. detached. Detached, yeah. exactly. And it's uh, because that one was inside the house. Yeah, but this one is detached and it's really nice. Yeah, your staff living here, they would feel like part of the family. Of in fact, I feel like they would they would even be more jazzed than living in the house. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just have your own private space here yeah. that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. And from here, you can see how these bamboo trees create some sort of privacy from uh -huh. your neighbor's house. And you can also use this to walk back to this side. In fact, follow me, Willis. Mm -hmm. I hope people are going to, to understand how you're walking and they won't get confused. Yeah. Because instead of going through the way we came, uh -huh. I wanted us to come here and, uh, you know, be a little bit naughty like your kids would be. <laughs> When they are living in this house okay and uh, pass over here you expect my camera to go through here as um well? i know it's going to be hard for you but <laughs> you can pull some magic powers <laughs> and uh, here again you have some these tuck up doors opening to your guest bedroom yeah mm. so apparently it not be your kids it will be your guest <laughs> yeah that is the wardrobe spacing on that side and on this side you have your very nice bathroom i like the way that window actually continues all the way to the top I had not noticed that really scam. So this window extends all the all the way to your upper, uh, the, the yeah. bedroom upstairs. Yeah. That's a nice one. It's a nice one. <laughs> That's a nice one, nice vanity setup, nice shower area. Mm. So and we are back here. So this is where we went to the kitchen. That's where we left. And on this side we have the this door that leads to this open space behind the kitchen. And now you're going to take the stairs so that you can have a look at the upper level one thing you notice with this house is that this glass window extends all the way to the very top you remember we saw this aspect in the house in Kembo road yes where the curtain drops all the way from the first floor to the ground level yes that for me is one of the best factors about people who build like this mm -hmm. if you're going to have a glass window by the staircase yeah don't break it yeah like i, I have a beam here mm -hmm. for what stop wasting concrete yeah? yeah just have it dropping all the way from the top to the ground yeah. but that is harder to do that is why people put concrete beams because yes. it's the easier way yeah this is very hard and especially to achieve a seamless face mm. and especially for a corner window mm. it's even harder to do that eh? yeah but i i think they really try to pull it out and they did it well eh? yeah they did yeah. it yeah. Well. yeah yeah i also like to see these glass rails mm -hmm. to me they are aesthetically pleasing uh, compared to the steel fabricated uh, rails that we see often yeah. so but people say they're not kids friendly but yeah. to me uh, we'll deal with the kids <laughs> let's, let's have a nice house first <laughs> then we we'll deal with the kids yeah yeah but this aside we have bedroom number two so you have the bathroom here yeah. uh vanity setup nicely done your shower area and i like how the tiling is actually clean it's well good done and uh this is the window that I was talking about yeah. in the bathroom that starts from downstairs, mm -hmm. the downstairs bathroom extending up to here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then that is your water closet on this side. In the bedroom that we left downstairs, eh, 
the wardrobes were on that side. Yes. But in this case, they're the first thing you see when you enter. Then you have your bed space, very nice. I feel like they would have done really justice if they had done those windows here. Yeah, yeah. that would have been nice. So <laughs> that, that you can nice. have awning windows e there. Exactly, yes. yeah. but it looks very beautiful and yes. it's beautifully it staged. It I, is. I think we should commend the person who staged this house. Yeah? yeah, they really did a good job. Then you have these stack up doors opening to this wrap around balcony that has very high glass rails and they are really strong. Well done. Mm. Yeah, I like to see this. And then, can we take a minute to appreciate the greenery in this space? The serenity, the peace. All I can hear are birds. Huh? Yeah. I can see their neighbors' houses, but it's not like they're there. This is very beautiful, it is. It's really, really beautiful. It's a beautiful yeah. space to be. It's a, it's a sight to see as well. Yeah. yeah. And one thing you realize is how they have made these balconies functional. Yeah. Yeah. So you can just chill here with a cup of tea. Yeah. And, and like I said, like these balconies, they do, they really do have a nice space. Yeah. Like so that you can have a sitting space outside. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, if your balcony doesn't have a sitting space, then why yeah. are we cantilevering things you can't use? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop, yeah. stop. Uh, I mean, there's no need to have it yeah. if you can't actually chill. At it, yeah? yes. And uh, as we, as I said, it's a wraparound balcony because it extends to this other side. Where you have this swinging chair one and swinging chair two, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this space opens up to your living space. I like how you can move from one space to another without going through the same space. Yeah. So I, I believe that is how I would utilize the house, yeah. So if I'm chilling in my bedroom over there. And I want to access the family room instead of using the main door. Just, just come, you know, come around, yeah. yeah. Again, also people for people who are thinking to themselves when you are in the living room, yeah, where you'll put your TV. Yeah. This is where. This is where. You, oh, this yeah. is where you put your TV. <laughs> yeah. I think I even forgot to mention TVs. At this point, I assume uh, TVs. <laughs> Everybody are, knows like TV as TVs yeah. are not for living on, room on, anymore. On this channel. We don't <laughs> TVs. Uh, okay, they are good, yeah, because yeah. you get to watch this show on your TV. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> but sometimes these houses are so beautiful that yeah. you just feel like um, maybe. Of course, you can have a TV here, and mm -hmm. some of the houses come with uh, screening rooms, yes. so you can have uh, a TV there as well. Huh? Yeah. So I moved the shears because I wanted people to appreciate the oh the picture the, window. Yeah, the picture window, yeah. and this one, as I had mentioned, that you'd see this tree. Yeah. Uh, from the ground level, the it is beautifully done, and uh, wow! And one thing uh, I haven't mentioned really is, is mm. how these uh, cutting rails are well hidden within the gypsum. Yeah, I think that's that's a beautiful thing. Yeah, and and I out. like how they did a really simple gypsum. You actually don't feel it. Yeah, you can't even tell that this is a gypsum ceiling. Mm. Yeah, you just feel like it's just the roof of the floor. <laughs> yeah, it does. It really feels nicer. Yeah, and on this other side. We have uh, bedroom number three. Let's open to it. And uh, Willis, mm -hmm. you know, at first you wouldn't believe this is a 600 square meter house. Yeah. But when you start walking around, yeah. you sort of start appreciating. Indeed. And uh, I love that about it. Then you have a nice stack up uh, glass door here that opens to another beautiful balcony. And uh, look at how bamboo works miracle. Yeah. Yeah. The privacy, then the beautiful trees. Ah, this space is beautiful. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can definitely have another sitting space here. Yeah. However, I really think mm -hmm. it would have been awesome if they opened up that this uh, bathroom. Yeah, that bathroom to this side. <laughs> you know? Especially if this bathroom had a, a bathtub. Yeah, it would have been amazing. Because nice, yeah? you can feel the way the sun is hitting me. Exactly. And uh, for people who might not know, this estate is almost in the middle of uh, like a forest area. Yeah. Yeah. So there are a lot of trees. Yeah, lots of trees. And this is not for this is for people who like nature. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I anyway. don't think there's anyone who doesn't like nature. There are, there are people, any? if you go through the comments of the apartment you did, uh -huh. there are people who are saying, oh, CJ, what, snakes, oh. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you guys are thinking far. <laughs> oh, CJ, this, this is giving a horror vibes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, those people, maybe they're used to concrete and yeah. that's their thing. So we just let them be, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So welcome to the bathroom space. This is the one that Willis was saying would have been nice if it opened up to this space. In yeah. fact, Willis, mm -hmm. since there was some space here, I yeah. think it would have had a nice outdoor bathroom. Exactly. Yeah. Like this shower could have been outside. Guys, you see why you should consult <laughs> with us. 
this, that is why you should consult with us. <laughs> so again, you have a water closet on this side. One thing I appreciate with this space though is how massive this uh, bathroom space is. It's yep. really big. It's really big. So yeah. there's a lot of space. It's actually a massive bathroom. Mm. And uh, Luis, you have a very good point there of opening it up eh, to yeah. the outdoors. Eh? Yeah. yeah. I, I think people should start embracing the outdoors more Yeah. when they are inside. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you know? exactly. That's uh, I, I think sometimes people fail to remember yeah. the importance of outdoor spaces. Yeah. But uh, not that this house has done that. They have actually incorporated the outdoors really well. Mm -hmm. But uh, they could have done more. Yeah. Yes. And now we are going to the third level. As I mentioned, this glass well, is continuous all the way to the top. And uh, they even have these awning windows yeah. to ensure that uh, you get some air. Well, try to open it later and uh, follow me to the last space, which has been staged as an office, but you can also have it as a fifth bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. So in case you want a home office, this is where you come chill. I believe really should make this your editing space. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. You know me, man. Like I this know. is. And you see this picture window, like I this know. big window. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I would, I wouldn't even have my desk there. Yeah, I would have it here Somewhere, overlooking yeah. the outside. So that you can overlook this. Yeah. Look at the forest, the way it extends. Imagine editing with those views. My goodness, <laughs> it's so peaceful. Very, very peaceful. Once I afford this kind of house, mm -hmm. Nairobi has never seen me again. <laughs> I'll be locked up in the house for good. <laughs> So on this side, as I mentioned, it's a full bedroom, so you get your wardrobes and a bathroom similar to the one that you have just checked downstairs. So it gets a massive bathroom, as you can see, uh, your rain head there and your water closet and the vanity on this side. And now that you have seen all those spaces, there's one major space that you haven't seen and I'm sure a lot of people are wondering, where is it? Yeah. <laughs> so follow me downstairs to the first level of this house, where we are going to check one of the most important spaces in any house. And that space continues from where you have this door at your family living space. So this massive door opens to the primary bedroom. Welcome. So the first thing you see when you get into your primary bedroom is this picture window that opens to your garden area and this side of your house I had talked about this garden at the when you were at the intro of the house yeah. and now you can see how that tree appears from here first thing it gives you some privacy from the other spaces and second it gives you beauty and shade yeah even cools the house yeah it's this this is one of the my, my favorite parts of the house oh so is mine yeah and you see this day bed like you can just lay there then they have a very nice you know? day bed here we can just come and chill yeah lay have down with your time. partner cuddle you, you know? see how big it is yeah enjoy your stuff it was meant for candling business <laughs> maybe i should start coming with my person to these toys <laughs> so that you can demonstrate yeah <laughs> no oh no 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 <laughs> but they're busy working hard so that we buy one of these houses yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so on this other side, we have the walk-in closet and uh, sometimes we feature spaces and we call them walk-in closet and people complain that mm. that's not a walk-in, those are just wardrobes. Mm -hmm. I actually saw that in our last video, <laughs> but uh, I would want to hear your views, whether you think this is a walk-in closet. To me, it is a walk-in closet. It is, it is, yeah, but it, it looks big. It's just that they don't have a door here, but yeah. I have to have, if you have a door here, yeah. it's a walking it, closet. This, this is a big, this space, is a big yeah? space, You yeah. can even put up an island here. Yep. So do a nice glass island over here. Yeah. And then I would probably add a glass a cabinetry over here. Yes. It looks light it up nicely, mm -hmm. you know. And, and we have, have a dresser yeah, somewhere. Have a dresser well. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, and on this other side, you have a beautiful bathroom, probably Willie's favorite part of this house. Of course. Do you want to talk about it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see this, the freestanding tub yeah. and full windows, like, yeah. man. Yeah. This is all we ask from you developers. Why is it hard to do this, man? If you have been watching this show for a long time, yeah, you definitely know that every time we see a tub next to a window, you have to check how the height of yeah. that window. Yeah. And in this case, the window is actually below the tub. tub yeah. Yeah. So this is very nice. And for those people who worry about privacy, you can just uh, tint it. Mm. However, 
I wouldn't eat it. I wouldn't do anything because realism is also an art. <laughs> I want the views when I'm in the in the tub. Oh uh, yeah, because yeah. when you're sitting here, you have very beautiful views of your of course in, man, the forest the on this views, side, man. the neighbors and so yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. You can watch them as they walk their dogs, you know. Yeah. And then on this side, you have very nice double vanity setup. I like the cabinetry, well done, and the sinks, and even this holder, the shampoo holder. Yeah. The tiling as well is very clean and neat. I like the earth tones, which is similar to what they have used within this shower area. And one thing I like about this shower area is the massive ray head and the way it has been fixed to the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's beautiful to see. Again, your tiling extends to this side. Very nice, very nice. And the linear drain. Mm. That, that's that's a plus for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another thing I like about this house is that the water closet is not open it's hidden mm -hmm. this is very nice because if for example i'm sharing this space with someone mm -hmm. and they're in the tub enjoying the views i'm sure they don't want to see me taking a shit <laughs> yeah. so i'll be well hidden from them yeah mm -hmm. so i like the privacy in yeah. that that that's a business that should be done alone but there's one person who has ever said yeah who's chosen my pens my pens will make you want to see them uh, when they <laughs> pick up, yeah. that is why me and uh, I, I say no. Yeah. I say no. <laughs> so welcome to the bed space of this primary bedroom. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a massive space. Look at all that. This is big. Yeah, this is big. This is very big massive. and it's beautiful. Yeah. You can have a California king bed here. Definitely. Yeah. Very it will fit like it's it's like it was supposed to be there. Exactly. This is what a suit means. Yeah. Yeah, so and, and the fact that is, it is in a 99 million Kenyan shilling house. Mm -hmm. Remember that house we toured and we complained about the primary bedroom? Yes. It was almost twice the price of this of house. This, yeah. And it wasn't this big. Again, you have all these picture windows, the sliding glass doors. So you get to enjoy a lot of natural light. In fact, you're filming with only natural light in this space. And you have a beautifully done fire space here to spice up the mood, to warm up the spaces during the cold seasons. And wow. I'm out of words. There's a time we posted this bedroom and people were like, hey, 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 in fact, you have brought people to tour this house just yeah. because of seeing this bedroom space. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the, it's actually one of my most favorite bedroom spaces. Yeah. 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 I, I will, I would like to say mine is the suit, the, the smart, smart house. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, this one also comes a very close. Very here. close. Yeah. Yeah. The smart house, of course, it's well done. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I think, but now this, with some extras from the smart house. Mm -hmm. Ah, definitely, Perfect. complete package. Perfect, yeah. I wanted to talk about this dresser because we didn't see one inside the closet. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought it's important to point out that even despite having the dresser here, you don't feel like your space is taken. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, this space could fill it definitely a, a whole other lounge apart yeah. from this one. Yes, it, it, it could perfectly. Yeah, it could yeah. Per perfectly. Yeah. A bed and a lounge. And remember you have a day bed on that other and, side. On that other side. This is, this so, is amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's very well done. This is how you use 600 square meters. Yeah? yeah. So this bedroom gets a massive balcony because by living in this house, you are king. If you're paying 99 million Kenya shilling, you are either a king or a queen. And therefore you deserve the very best. Yes. And this is it. So again, as we was saying, you can do an, a, a nail couch here if you wanted. Yeah. And you can uh, have different set of sitting spaces yeah. here. Look at that. That is amazing. Yeah. yeah. I did wish they did another fireplace for yeah. this uh, uh, primary bedroom. But you see, the thing is yeah. that chimney is made of metal. Yeah. So definitely to transfer heat to this place if people uh, are using it. I was it thinking there. maybe there's a way they could have done another oh, fabrication yeah. set here. Yeah. Just have another pop-up here. Yeah? yeah. Because I'm just thinking that if I own this house, I'd uh -huh. really want to make use of this space at night. Yeah? yeah. Yeah. So in fact, I would be spending most of my time here. Mine would just be to call people. <laughs> Tell them just bring some tea. <laughs> I'll probably do a nice kitchenette at the family oh, room. Yes. So just walk over there. Yeah. Or even, or even where the day bed is. Oh, where the day bed yeah. is. Just right behind yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, I want to think, I want to believe. Yeah. That you see the empty space at the closet. Oh, at the Maybe closet. You can do a kitchenette there. You can do a kitchenette there. Oh my God, so that's you nice. Just, you just make yeah. some coffee with your PJs. 
you work on your laptop here, mm -hmm. you watch your person walking inside the house from you know these glass doors. Yeah. Naked, of course. Beautiful views. Ah, beautiful views. But you said you're keeping it PG. Kids are watching this show. <laughs> ah, we meant, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> we are grateful to have you watching. I was getting carried away, of course. But it's a nice space. And the silence in this space, the serenity is definitely, for me, a big, big plus. Yeah. If you want to live within nature, not so far from Nairobi, then this probably would get a big tick from you. So if you'd be interested in checking out these houses, just give Ray a call and he's going to tell you how you can come down here and check the houses for yourself. In the meantime, I'm just going to soak into the beauty of this place. Bye and see you on the next episode. Take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs>